Oh, hey, good to see you. Nice seeing you folks. Hey, we're camped in the uh, Lewis and Clark National Forest in central Montana. Can you see the deer standing over there? Yeah. <laughs> Just kind of watching what we're doing. Photobombed by a deer. Yeah. Well, what do you got planned for the weekend? Um, well, we got the uh, daughters, granddaughters, sons-in-laws coming up. About three more outfits are going to show up here tomorrow. We yeah. got a great big camp spot that we're anxious to show you. Um, some other things that we're planning on doing, I'm going to get a bike ride in on some of the more in some of the more remote areas that I'm allowed to get into here on an e-bike. We're going to do that. Mm -hmm. um, some other things to talk about. I got a new piece of equipment that I'm not doing a review on, but I'm testing and I'm really excited to show it to you. So that's coming up. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to attempt to bake a two layer cake. Hey, you didn't mention a cake to me. Well, it's one layer at a time, and I knew when one layer was done, you'd eat it. <laughs> so I'd end up with a one layer cake, but it's an attempt. So we'll I'm see. looking forward to that. <laughs> hey, you guys, stand by for this video. I think you're going to like it. Deer's still there. Carter, they're gone again, too, right there. That deer is still standing there in the shade. Totally relaxed. That's nice to see. I had this campsite in mind before we ever left home because it, a little pressure because we had to get up here first and find a campsite that was big enough for all of us and that still had a place so our granddaughters could wade in the stream and stuff. And it's so crowded up here now. So we're coming in yesterday and all the places are taken or reserved with those little Walmart tents so nobody can camp there. It just ticks me off. There's one right here next to us like that. But we got this campsite that I was hoping to get was wide open. Uh, you know, that's a blessing. Let me show it to you. There's plenty of places to camp, like right here, if, if they need to be in the sun for their solar, like uh, Linda and I. I'm going to swivel around here slowly so I don't make you dizzy. That's where we're camped, is off on that little area there. Down below, there's um, two more camping spots down here. Linda and I don't like to be next to the noise of the stream. So, and also we needed good solar, but down here is pretty nice. We've got our clam shelter set up. Um, we'll be moving it into a shady spot. We've been moving it around to keep it in the shade. Uh, it's right there right now. And it's actually sitting in a real nice level camp spot. Um, one of our girls might, might like to be right there. And then over here is a big fire pit. And then just to the left of that is a nice flat area. I did a bike ride through here uh, earlier this spring and I showed it to you guys at that point. And I said, oh gee, this would be a nice place. Well, um, it is a nice place. And right here's the creek, flowing pretty good because there's still runoff. The piece of equipment that I got that I'm pretty excited about, like I say, I'm not reviewing this yet, I'm still testing it, but I wanna show it to you, is this and by Idehill. What is this? This is a camping rechargeable reverse osmosis water filter. And why is that important? In an emergency situation, you wanna be able to get water from any source because number one, you have to have water. And I've done videos in the past about water filters. You've seen me do that if you've watched my older videos, even one where I made a, a countertop water filter for your home. All of those water filters won't take out pesticides and uh, um, poisons and heavy metals. They take out some of the heavy metals, but they're basically uh, for taking out bacteria to make contaminated water safe. And they do that very well. I'm talking about the kind of water filters they use for hiking or camping. Uh, you maybe fill a plastic bag with water from the stream and it drains into a gallon jug. Those are good for removing bacteria mostly. This one 
is um, a reverse osmosis filter, which takes it all out. So this will make just about any water safe to drink, except this one's not designed to do seawater. But I'm just in the testing phase of this to see how well it stands up. This is the first trip with it. We're gonna do another uh, extended trip with it in another couple of weeks, and then we'll review it afterwards. I just wanna show it to you today because I'm excited about it. Um, lithium battery, rechargeable. On one charge, it'll give you seven, a little over seven gallons of drinking water and an additional seven gallons or more than that, just slightly more than that, of just filtered water that you can use for washing and bathing. Uh, so we're gonna see just how well it does that. Yeah, I just wanna try this one out. Um, this isn't even on the market yet, but it soon will be. So I'm hoping to get a bunch of testing done before that happens so I can let you know um, how good it is. Uh, I'm, got, I'm right by the stream. Sorry about the stream noise. It might be kind of noisy. Um, uh, but anyways, let's see how it works. Yeah, good long hose. That's good. So you can see it's got water coming out of both of these. This is the filtered water. This is the RO filtered drinking water on this side. So with an RO filter, there's, a, there's always a bypass. If you install an RO filter underneath your kitchen sink, there's a bypass that just goes into your kitchen drain and then the regular RO filter comes out a different faucet. So this is using that bypass water to make wash water. Now you would think that the water coming out of this particular stream would be perfectly safe to drink with just a regular uh, decontamination filter or your bacteria filter, but it isn't. Upstream of this river is a a large gold mine and of course they used arsenic for um, processing the gold. This river is contaminated. You can see the speed that the water goes in here. It takes a little while. I've got another gallon jug here. I'm going to time, actually time that one. Well, it took uh, 15 minutes and 43 seconds to get a gallon of water. That's okay, I didn't have to do anything, just just check on it. Okay, so in a little over half an hour, I got two gallons of perfectly safe uh, reverse osmosis water, and it actually probably put out about two and a half or three gallons of uh, clean washing water that's safe to bathe with, wash your dishes. So that's where we're at so far with this. So we were out here playing with a new toy yesterday, and uh, I want to make sure I get all my brass because <laughs> I like to reload it. Wow, I'm getting lots of uh, signals here. Didn't expect that. <laughs> Somebody else's brass. <laughs> uh, no, I just want mine. There it is. Got it. There's words for people that do stuff like this, uh, but I can't say them on this channel. Don't leave them in the comments either. But we know who they are. Well, some lowlife threw an entire bag of trash into this beautiful stream. Boy, that... That just tick you off, Linda? Yeah, but I collect all the cans and then throw it in the river. Yeah, collect the cans and just throw them in the river. I just don't think it's fine. What a mess we got to bring home. They could have brought it home. Yeah. Wow. Stinks too. Really. Yeah. Well, the water feels nice. A little on the chilly side, but uh, I can handle it.
There's Linda's chocolate cake. Two separate layers. Looks good, Linda. And how'd you do those? Uh, in the Instant Pot, the three-quart Instant Pot. Cool. Yeah, they look good. Which one was mine? <laughs> well, I'm holding this one, so obviously this is mine. <laughs> we have to share? Hey, Lily. Lily, these are for adults only. <laughs> no. <laughs> is this yours? Mm, you can cut it up. Like, okay, I can cut it up. <laughs> hey there, Linda. Hello. Well, for those of you familiar with our little trailer, you've seen it a million times. That's the Vino's. Got the heater in the front. That's our power station down there. Solar on the roof. I'm going to slowly turn here so I don't make you dizzy. Uh, right there we store our, our two foot by four foot table. The cutout in the middle is for our propane stove, our single burner propane stove that fits down in there. Some storage here. The bunks in the back there are canvas cots. They're, uh, they fasten to the walls. They're called pipe bursts. And I did a video on those, maybe a couple of videos on pipe bursts. So you can look in our past videos from a couple of years ago and see those. There's a fold-down table here that uh, makes a nice uh, uh, surface for eating or for doing my uh, video editing. And then a refrigerator down there. Uh, if you look in our past videos, you'll see that we have a way to rig a shower curtain in here with a, a dog bath, a folding dog bath that drains through a hole in the floor down here that has a plug in it. Uh, not too popular in crowded campgrounds, but you could put a bucket underneath and then go dump it elsewhere. And then, um, what else? A fan? Yeah, there's a Max Air fan up there, which moves a lot of air. We like that. Shoe rack over there for storage. That's about it for this trailer. There's 400 watts of solar on the roof, and that provides a little shade for the roof as well as plenty of power. Of course, the whole trailer is insulated. Walls, ceiling, floor, doors. Let me show you the other trailers here. That's our trailer that you were just seeing the inside of, six by 10. This is my daughter's six by 10. Ours is uh, six feet high. Hers is six feet, four inches high. It gives a little more headroom inside. Let's go take a peek inside. You can see she's got propane mounted on the front. Uh, we have two tanks on the front of ours. These are uh, aluminum frame trailers, so they're lighter for towing. We can start at the front here. That's the Vino's. She's just got a simple uh, cabinet there, Ikea or something. Her power station is down there. She's got 200 watts of solar on the roof. It goes straight into an EcoFlow. She's got her 12 volt refrigerator here. And uh, that's her stove right there. It's a new way gas stove that we just installed here a couple of months ago. And this tabletop. Kitchen cabinet, upper kitchen cabinet provides a support for it down there. And uh, turning towards the back, uh, that's a, one of those canvas pipe bursts up above. And down below here is a double bed, and when it folds up, it just slides in and folds up and makes a sofa. Handy. Really basic. Now, this is my daughter Nikki's trailer. She's just started on this one, so it doesn't have all the shelves and storage in it yet. But uh, she's making plans and thinking about that. Over here on the other side is my daughter's 7x14 propane on the front. This is another all aluminum trailer. This is like the Taj Mahal compared to ours. We'll start up with the Vinos to my right. You can see we like those new way stoves. There's one installed in here too. They're just simple because it's vented propane. So there is no moisture in the air in here. It's all vented like a wood stove. Nice dry heat. She's been uh, putting in a lot of storage. Some of it she's just done rec recently, and it's not built-ins. It's just stuff that she's repurposed. Things she's ordered from Amazon and made work, except for these shelves here, these two 
long shelves. They just built those. Down below that is a futon that pulls out into a double bed for the girls and folds up during the day for a sofa. Can't beat that. And in the back is a regular double bed. Now one, she, one thing she's working on, she's got a TV hanging back there and then there's storage shelves on the side. Um, that right there is a table for um, Brian's CPAP and that's got it's it's like l-shaped or you know u-shaped and it pulls away from the bed and it still remains a table gets out of the way during the day that's so they can open their rear door and they can walk through and i'll show you a feature on their rear door that allows them to use that as a patio and coming up the other side is just more um you see you, you don't have to build stuff if you don't want to you can do it this way that's another one of those shelving units and a regular medicine cabinet of course, everything is made to secure with a bungee so the doors don't fly open, you know, while you're traveling. And down below, she's got her 12-volt refrigerator there. They also have the same shower system, uh, both of these uh, girls do, with the folding dog bath and drains through the floor. Um, check my video from in the past. It's called the Hula Hoop Shower, and you can see how we did that, all right? See these struts? These are the same struts that uh, we you would put under your trailer. And they're mounted on the door here because she's going to fold it down. And it makes a patio. They're more like that when they travel, except this is also retracted up inside. Did you show how this will come out? Like You, can, you can show it. Okay. I told them about it, but I didn't, I didn't pull it out. Yeah. That's a nice, the nice table that she got from Amazon that just fits over the bed when you slide it under, you know, slide it under, gets it out of the way. So we're going to open up the back, which totally transforms the space by pulling on this latch. That's a gate latch that she just pulled on. Hardware store gate latch. And the back is open. <laughs> and it makes a nice patio. Yeah, now we have a nice patio. Non-muddy space to sit on. And then we can access our storage from underneath the bed. Oh yeah. And you can see how that strut works, and it's pretty simple. Rear patio. My trailer's got this motorcycle rack on the back for my e-bike. Spare tire right there. There's a video that I made on how to mount your spare. Shows you how to make it strong. There's a five gallon uh, scepter jerry can on each side of the trailer. I did a video showing how to mount those on these thin wall trailers also so that's strong. They're holding up really well. And uh, dual pro propane tanks on the front. And you can see that the uh, cargo trailers, the converted cargo trailers are working out really well for us. We've torn up three trailers on these roads in these mountains over the last 22 years, you know, the regular commercially built ones that come apart at the seams. And that's when we started uh, converting these and using them because they're all welded and they stay together. For all the how-to videos that I've done that I mentioned in this video, look below the video in the video description for the links and you can click on them. You can see those. Well, it sure is quiet around here now. <laughs> All the kids are gone, the family's gone. We sure had a nice weekend. Linda and I got here on Wednesday and now this is Sunday and they're heading home and we're getting ready to head out too.
Yeah. We had a lot of fun. The kids shot slingshots. They went swimming. They went fishing. They shot their 22 rifles. The adults shot their bigger rifles and played in the dirt. No, that was the kids that played in the dirt. Did you play in the dirt? I uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, thanks for coming along. Yeah, it was nice having you here. We'll see you around. Yeah.